Today I take a uh, tour to the one of the most famous places in this area. It is called Yerve El Ova, means uh, beautiful water. I also strongly recommend all the friends who love Mexico or Central America, South America, learn some Spanish. Okay? Learn something will be very useful here. I did three months in Spain. Yeah. It helps a lot. This is where there's petrified waterfalls. They were created over the time more than a thousand years ago um, due to the fact that water from lakes would be draining for approximately 50 meters high. They contain minerals, which is carbon and calcium, and which over the time they petrified. Now you can still see a little bit of water um, draining through the waterfall, but it's all rock. Okay? Beautiful. Awa. Awa means water. Yeah. What, what means uh, Yerebe? Boil water. Boil water. water. Okay. This is one of the major uh, tourist sites we must see if you come to Oaxaca. This is so called boil water. But the water is actually cold. It is boiling but cold. I can touch the water. It's very cold. Not warm at all. But it's boiling. That's the name from this place come from.
the last little thing here is to get myself wet. I have no swimming clothes here. I just use my pen. Once in my lifetime, I must get in the water, get myself wet. Okay, here I go. Whenever you go up one step, you'd be bowing to their gods. Uh, people say that the stairs are very deep, so you have to bow every time. I try not to bow if I can do it. Okay. Okay. I can go down. Yes. <laughs> The interesting thing about the stairs is this is nine steps, nine. Nine in Chinese language means the most. Like my name in Chinese, Danjiu, means nine. The nine is the highest number. I think that also means something. What they don't understand is how they were able to bring them all the way over here. Mm. See the big size? Yes. As well as they say that um, that they used to use a tree trunk mm -hmm. to pull it and to carry the rocks by pushing them and pulling. And now we are inside this place. This place used to be a very uh, for the very important people. Now we are. The tourists, most important people here. Uh, these are our actual rooms. 
the important people used before, but they never use doors or windows because they need to uh, to make this uh, place open to op oppose to nature. So it's very important for uh, the ancient people, they know the wisdom to be together with nature. Not like our days, we shut all the windows and doors, use air conditioning. It's not good for our, our body. Now, I do the same. No matter where I go or where I live, I always leave my window open. It doesn't matter how cold it is. So I think I follow the old tradition. Please follow me. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the two tombs, okay, mm -hmm. this one, the tomb is um, mostly, once you enter, it's going to be pretty small and hot, humid in this one. Okay. So after you enter, the tomb is going to open up like this. It's going to be in the shape of a cross, uh -huh. which you're going to see a lot of space as well as you're going to get to see and feel. Some people feel like, uh, they say they feel a presence or something. Mm -hmm. And they were found treasures in there. This is a place they used to bury people, very important people. And uh, there are tombs down there. Uh, small get in and the big inside is like a cross. They found a lot of treasures in the tomb and uh, they displayed in some church. I believe the original treasures. So I'm going in to take a look. Uh, it is rather deep to get in. Even for martial art artist, have to be careful. Wow. This is very. This is as far as we can get in. Uh, that's it. Okay, we're going down. It's very low. I have to really like. Uh, okay, go this like this. Okay, and get out like this. The guy told me they have taken the stones and the materials from the tomb and built that church. <laughs> Gracias. I put a uh, paint here. <laughs> Gracias. Adios. I put it here. Nice. The tour took us to this uh, buffet place. This cost 150 pesos. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to eat something, but I would like to take a look to see what they offer for 150 pesos. a lot of food.
uh, it is a little bit expensive, but uh, I don't have it every day. This is just for a tour. Why not? Everyone is having a coffee, and uh, I think I do it myself too. Okay, I just finished my buffet lunch. It's not lunch to me, it's like a dinner to me. It costs 150 pesos. But this is not normally what not, uh, this is not normally I pay. I normally pay 50 pesos for a meal or less. Uh, sometimes I just uh, buy something like 20 or 30. But it uh, count 100 pesos a day. Uh, breakfast, eat at the hostel. Then uh, 100 pesos a day, also 200 pesos uh, for the hotel, so like a 300 pesos a day. So it works like uh, 10,000 pesos. Uh, 10,000? Yeah, 10,000 pesos a month. If you can't count it this way, uh, comes to like five, six hundred dollars. So. Uh, if, if I stay in a very cheap rest, uh, hostel, like I stayed in the Mexico City. In Mexico City, I stayed in a hostel only for $7 a day. And breakfast is uh, included. Then uh, lunch, dinner, I pay another 100, which is 200 pesos a day. That works out like a 6,000. 6, uh, 200 a day. 2010 days? Yeah, 6,000. 6,000 is uh, not much money. Uh, 6,000 6, pesos is like a less than 400 US dollars. So if you're a student or if you want to, to experience uh, a budget life, I think 500 pesos, sorry. 500 US dollars a month, you can, not very comfortably, but you can live in Mexico. I did a video, again, I did a video, 500 US dollars living in Thailand. Say it again, 500 US dollars a month living in Thailand. This video, I only took uh, about two hours to make the video, became very popular on YouTube. So I think I can tell people how 500 US dollars can live in the world, can live in uh, Mexico, can even live in Spain. I will make all this, or Malaysia. I will make all these uh, videos later to tell uh, people uh, the expenses and how I use my money to travel. Thank you for watching.